I'm nervous on the surface, I look fine. My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind. And I'm so tired, I can't feel my eyes. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. I'm petty, but I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And if you guys caught my last video, you've seen I upgraded to the Raptor. And I haven't really done anything to it besides the carbon fiber shifter. Just because I got a deal on it, I didn't do a video because it's a shifter. Come on. But anyway, I made a video not too long ago about the first six mods you should do to your truck in 2023. And part of that was a level slash wheels and tires for your truck. Now, this truck already came with the Eibach leveling springs. So right now, I think the truck sets pretty good. It might be a little back high. But I think right now we're about perfect, especially because I'm still going to end up hauling my boat next year. And uh, I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. I haven't even hooked it up yet. I might have to upgrade my leaf springs, but that's to be determined for another, another time. We're already leveled. We didn't have to do that. I went ahead and just got wheels and tires. That's immediately the first thing I wanted to do to change the look on this because the stalkers just weren't doing it for me. But before we show you guys the vehicle, what tire set, what wheel and tire combo we went with, I'm going to run it one more time through this car wash that I go to. I have the unlimited pass. It's pretty normal to have just the unlimited car wash pass. The problem is it's a conveyor belt system that locks in your driver's side wheel and tire. And upon switching from the tires that were on the truck, those Baja bosses, they were 255, 85, 17. My truck went through this wash completely fine. But now that I've switched to this size tire, we have issues. So I think after today, this might be the last wash here. Let's see what happens. So far, we're starting off good. And, oh God, here we go. We are backing up, back and forth. So I started to rock back and forth. I gotta watch out, Wrigley's gonna grab this, try to attack the... So basically what's going on is you're on that conveyor belt system from just doing the tire change alone i now rock back and forth because it's struggling to push my truck through when this happened the last time the guy had me pull up over another wheel so that way there's a wheel under the front and a wheel under the back and that way it's got enough you know force to push me through the other thing that happens is the wheel was starting to turn to the right and he was like hey just next time when you're through it just start pulling your wheel back to the left you'll be fine then when I went back through, that's when the truck is rocking back and forth. So it's too sketchy and I've already been thinking about switching to the touchless wash anyway. You just pull in and then it just, you know, does its thing around the vehicle so that way I don't have to go through a conveyor belt system because that stresses me out and I don't want someone to hit me and I don't want to look like a fool and be like, what are you doing? Is your foot on the brake or something? That's why we're going to do the touchless because as much as I keep this thing waxed, and clean, the touchless car wash is gonna be more than a fine. So guys, I ended up going with just the BFG Goodrich, the KO2. I went with the 315 7017. That is the factory tire. That's the tire that comes with it. That's the size that comes with it. It's almost a 35 inch tire. I think it's like 34 and a half, something like that. I was just gonna go to a 35 by 12 and a half and I was gonna do the Ridge Grappler, but I got a smoking deal on these KO2s that I could not, I just, I had to do it. Like for the price that I got them for, I had to try them. There's a lot of bad reviews on them, but there's also a lot of good reviews on them. Now, I don't off-road at all. With winter right around the corner, I'll find out how good these tires are. I've had Kenda Cleavers, I've had Nato Ridge Grapplers, I've had Terra Grappler G2s. So if this tire sucks, I will tell you because we get hard packed, we get ice, we just, we get it all here in Iowa. I went with the Method MR305s and the Double Black. This is matte black, gloss ring lip. And that was the biggest thing that sold me on it. I hadn't really dove that deep into Method wheels after getting the Raptor. That's when I seen the double black wheel and I just fell in love with it. The reason why I fell in love with it, probably about two years ago, it was before Method actually had done the double black style wheel. A buddy of mine that is a custom powder coater, 
was looking to do something to his personal truck and he wanted to do something different. He called me for some ideas. I have the airbrush background to where I come up with some really unique color combos and I just make things look really good. So he called me, he's like, hey, he's like, I'm doing a custom truck for myself. He's like, I'm scratching my head on what I wanna do with the wheels. So I told him, I was like, man, the one thing that I really love is when someone mixes a matte finish with a gloss finish. So I told him originally, I was like, dude, you should do a matte black with a gloss rim. He did do that, however, but he didn't do the black. He ended up doing a gloss black face, and then I think the base of the wheel is a satin blue. It looks really clean. You guys can check out his page as well. And his work is top notch. So like I said, this is just a 315 70 17 tire. The wheel is a 17 by eight and a half and it's a zero offset. So now my tires actually kick out of the fender wells just a little bit. Not, not too much, but just that perfect amount. Get you guys a little better view. Then we'll get you on this side. I'm 110% happy with the way this wheel and tire combo came out. The only thing that I'd maybe do different, I would eventually like to get 37s, but since I drive this daily, I just don't know if 37s are ideal right now, maybe in the future. Maybe I'll wear these out and I'll switch to a 37, but I don't think there's a better wheel that I could have chosen just based on that double black. So that's the wheel and tires that we're running right now. Now, I went with just the C-rated tire, which is a six-ply tire, and you can go to a D, which is an eight-ply, you can go to an E, which is 10-ply, F is a 12-ply. The more ply you have, the longer they're gonna last, but the, more, the higher you go up, the more it's gonna take away from the ride of the vehicle. I had the Mickey Thompson Baja Bosses, which was the E-rated tire, so that's a 10-ply, and I actually don't really have any complaints about the way it rode. You're probably like, Jimmy, why didn't you just take those Mickey Thompson Baja bosses and stick them on the method wheels? Problem is, they're 255, 85, 17. Raptor comes stock 315, 70, 17. So it's a, it was actually a taller tire profile, but a 255 is the width of it. And that's just not that wide of a tire. And to me, it just kind of looked a little weird on the Raptor. Like it, the Raptor has to have a tire that's close to the 12 and a half wide. So that's why I didn't stick with it. Now that I have a C rated tire versus driving with the Mickey Thompson, which was a E rated, the ride quality on a C is just night and day difference. Just cornering everything. The truck just rolls a lot smoother. But the problem is a lot of guys like going to the eight to 10 ply tire because for one off-roading, it's gonna last longer. These six plies just aren't gonna last long. If you're pulling a lot, you're gonna to wanna to go with a higher rated tire. But for what I do, I'm not gonna be off-roading. I pull a boat, but I just pull it usually an hour away if I do at most. Worst case scenario, they don't last as long. I got a, such a good deal on them that I'm willing to just sacrifice and see how they work. That's all I got for you guys today. Um, I'm absolutely stoked on the wheel and tire combo like the tire I really like the way the ko2 tread pattern is designed. I think it looks really good now I have the Baja bosses still and I'll show you guys Like I've heard nothing but excellent things on these Baja bosses Rain snow. I had them in the rain and they hooked up really good I hadn't drove them in the snow yet, but I've heard even in the snow they excel but I kind of am a guy that I also like the way the wheel looks, but I also like the way the tire tread looks. So I like the way the tread pattern looks on the KO2. I like the way the tread pattern looks on like the Nitto Ridge Grappler. But to me, the way this tread pattern is, I think it belongs on a Jeep. I would have rocked these if they were a 315, 70, 17, or a 35 by 12 and a half, but they're not. So that's why we went with the KO2s. And yesterday I spent probably half of my day trying to get there's so when I bought the truck, I didn't actually notice it at the time. It had hard water spots all over it. The front end, the paint, all over the paint, all over the windows. So I bought a clay bar kit and my first thought was I'm gonna try to clay bar it. About 10 minutes into clay barring, I was like, nope. I'm gonna have to literally like clay bar my life and just scrub my life away. I don't have time for that. So I went to Walmart. They have this chemical guys water spot remover. 
I just figured it was like a hype thing, like probably just a marketing thing. Probably have to still scrub your life away. It's a gel. It smells really strong, being a ventilated area. But it is like liquid clay bar. It took all of the water spots off my truck. It saved me so much time. So I'm forever thankful for that. My arms are still wore out. I still ended up actually clay barring the truck after I used this and then I put a coat of wax on it. So now the truck is like pristine. There's no water spots on it. We should be good for a while. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. And I have more content lined up for you guys. It's not gonna be aftermarket mods. It's gonna be information on the Raptors, problems, issues warranties, things of that nature, things that are actually going to help you guys out, um, especially if you're looking to purchase one or if you already have one. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.